Hey guys, what's up? It's JR Cuber, and I am currently on my way to Flag City Fall in Finley, Ohio uh, this weekend. It's currently Friday morning, early Friday morning. Um, and like all of, pretty much all of my travel vlogs here for comps, it starts out with a story about how I almost didn't make it or about how a disaster almost happened, something along those lines. Uh, and this, at this point, is pretty par for the course uh, for these travel vlogs, so a little story time for you. Basically, the plan is um, me, Steve, Adam, Daniel, and then Steve Greer are all rooming together um, at an Airbnb for the comp. The plan is to for me to fly to Pittsburgh and then meet up with Steve there, and then we're driving to where Daniel lives because he goes to college in Ohio, which is kind of why this whole thing started because I wanted to go to an Ohio comp with Daniel and then Steve was gonna come and then Adam was like, oh, I can come that weekend. And then it all just kind of happened from there basically. The flight that I got was, it had a layover, so it, it uh, left very early from Denver. So it left at like 6 a.m. from Denver basically. And so with the amount of time it takes for me to drive to Denver, um, plus, you know, I have to, park somewhere, get shuttled to the actual airport, then go through the airport. It's a very, very big airport. So it takes a while to get through it, everything. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna leave at 2 a.m. So I was like, okay, I, I shouldn't have any problem just getting home and crashing and then getting a decent amount of sleep and waking up at one, right? So I was like, all right, solid plan. I think I can do it. Um, made all the reservations, made all the plans and everything. Come last night, I get home from work. Turns out there's still a lot of stuff I kind of have to do before I go to bed because I'm going to have no time once I wake up. So by the time I get all of that stuff done, it's like nine ish. So I'm like, okay, fine. It's still going to work. I'll still be okay. I was like, all right, let me just sleep on the couch so I don't sleep too heavily so I can actually hear my alarm, all that kind of stuff, right? So I was like, fine. I, I finally fall asleep, wake up, it's 4 a.m and like immediate panic because I'm like it's seriously 4 a.m. and I did not hear my alarm like there is absolutely no way I can make my flight at this point my flight's at 6 it takes two hours to drive there just that alone not including all of the other time I still need to get ready get everything together like it was like absolutely no way that's gonna work I totally messed up can't make my flight of course because I got the cheapest flight that I could, it was non-refundable and non-cancelable. So I couldn't cancel it, I couldn't switch it to another flight. I couldn't get a refund. I was like, oh my gosh. I immediately looked up flights to see if I could just be like, okay, how bad is the damage? And it was like two to three times as expensive because it's like a flight leaving in a couple hours. In a very panicked state, I, I went to my last resort, which was of course calling my mom. <laughs> I was like, mom, I'm so sorry to wake you up this early. Here's my situation. What the heck do I do, <laughs> you know? And um, she basically said, just call them. Tell them your situation and see if you can switch it, see if you can just do something. Like they might be able to cancel it for you, get you a refund, anything like that. And I was like, okay. Good idea, I will do that. I hate calling people, by the way. I, I can't stand it, especially those kind of calls. And I was like, but I was literally like, there's literally nothing else I can do without spending like $900 on a ticket. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do that. And um, I called them and basically what they said was, um, if you call us within 30 minutes of your original departure time, we can switch you to the next flight for no additional cost. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is amazing. But then I was like, okay, what is the next flight? Because if, if I get there at like midnight, I'm still kind of screwed. I'm a little bit less screwed, but still kind of screwed. And they said the next flight would be a nonstop flight. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, keep going. That gets there at like 3.45. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is amazing. Because my original flight got there at like two. So that's literally like a very minor setback. That's like two hours. We already weren't even gonna be leaving Pittsburgh for two hours because Adam gets there around four. Basically me and Steve were just gonna, you know, see Pittsburgh a little bit. He was gonna show me the town, get some food, something like that. And I was like, okay, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> I was like, all right, let's do it. Basically my flight now leaves at around 11, like a little bit before 11. It is like five o'clock and I am already driving to Denver because there's absolutely no way that I'm missing this flight. And even if I get there a few hours early and have like 
you know, two or three hours just sit at the gate. I don't care. So yeah, that um, that was a story about how I screwed up really bad because I missed my alarm because I'm a heavy sleeper. Suffice to say, I'm still very, very excited for the competition and very much looking forward to seeing my friends again. I'm gonna stop talking now. Hopefully this all works. A sign. You come outside and I just see this. <laughs> I'm like, oh well, that's me. <laughs> this building got a hot crossroads here. Chewy or original? Bibs Ahoy, Bocklet Bib Boogie. Boogie. So where are we going, boys? Oh, there it is. Finley. Finley is there. And, and then Oberlin is Oberlin where? Oberlin is here. Okay. We're walking a long way tonight. <laughs> we got like the entire earth to travel. So yes. The entire earth. Right? <laughs> this obviously proves the earth is flat right here. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see the curvature? No. <laughs> no, it's not flat. Don't worry. It is. Worry. It's a little pet. See, it look. is a donut look, shape. Look. See how it's a little give? That means it's curved out a little bit. <laughs> Look who else we found. What's up, guys? That's it. That's it? <laughs> that's, that's it? That's, that's really? My, that's my pay. Really? I, you paid me only enough for me to say that much. Really? We found him by a dumpster and so... <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> but dude, it's so good to see you. Whoa. Like, it's so good to see yes, all of you guys, yeah. honestly. He was saying it doesn't even feel like a competition. It just feels like we're all just seeing each other. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. Sucks. We are out here at Five Guys getting food. But there's only four But guys. there are only four of us. <laughs> The fifth, just, the fifth guy is the friends we make along the way. Yes, I, knew, I knew you were going to say that. We are at Airbnb and Other Steve is here. Hello, Other Steve. What's up, guys? This is a very nice Airbnb. Yeah. They also said there's child care if need be. Bro, they said you could sleep in the crib? Bro. Just don't break it. Oh my gosh. I got a weight limit. Dude, really? <laughs> Your crib. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> my son did not bring his two by two, but I have a Duplo block. Can you use this instead? So now we have a Daniel and an Admo playing Smash on my Switch. I beat Daniel once and Adam once and then lost to Daniel. And here we have a Steve who is walking right in front of the TV. I can't see. Being very distracting to both parties of the game. And then we have other Steve. Oh well. <laughs> Out here chilling. On the couch. It's like 1 a.m. Everyone's about to go to sleep. See you tomorrow for day numero uno. Steve, I think your drumming skills are great. It's 7 a.m. We still haven't left yet. We were supposed to leave like a little while ago, but that's okay. Come on, slow boys. Hello, slow oh, boy. It's just so cold. It is not that cold. It Come on. So cold. Bro, it's like maybe like 35. Yeah, that's, that's not very nice for me. It's the morning. What do you expect? Well, I expect it to be a little pleasant. This is very nice establishment. Scramblers. That's what we will be doing today. <laughs> Scrambling. We got some good eats out here. I got me some eggs. You got some French toast. How was the French toast? Oh, it's pretty good. Pumpkin yeah. flavor. Nice, nice. You and you got... Boys got free taco. At this stop sign, turn right. <laughs> Thank you, GPS Steve. Hello, venue. We're going to be late, but it's okay. We are not going to be late because nope. we, we have nothing, nothing. to do. <laughs> <laughs> I literally have no event events today. So. Ooh, that's yeah. sad. I have like six and seven, but that's not till the afternoon, I'm pretty sure. They are doing FMC right now. Good luck, my homies. They're also here with Blake because he wanted to be in the vlog. I'm in the vlog station. now, I guess. Yes, that is Welcome correct. Back, guys. We're all here, hanging back together. 
Blake's here too. We are currently scouting a location to watch Avatar because Big Blind is happening and we don't, and none of us are doing that. So we're like, let's watch Avatar, but we don't know where to go. This is what we do during Big Blind. <laughs> the man in the iceberg is Angus. <laughs> <laughs> Boomerang. <laughs> okay, Boomerang. <laughs> Comic Sans. Ew. Now practicing for six and seven, which are later today. Hopefully, I can make cutoffs. So, we've just been chilling out here for the last couple hours. This has been pretty much the most chill competition day. Almost a little too quiet for a competition. Like, it feels a little weird, but tomorrow will probably feel much more like normal. Yeah. GG's. That was awesome, man. <laughs> First multi-blind attempt ever. You got three out of three. Very nice. We are now en route to Chick-fil-A Chick for lunch. I'm, I'm very excited about this. Hey, Jesse, yeah? you're my number one with a lemonade. Thank Turn you. Right. That really Turn means right so here. much to me. We have acquired our Chick-fil-A, but we still have to be quiet because we're late for blind. Thought I'd go up for six by six in a little bit. Yeah, it's, what time is it? Like two o'clock or something. And I'm finally competing for the first time today. So looking forward to that. <laughs> that was so bad. I'm not sure how to feel about that. <laughs> that was so bad. You ruined your bean. Dude, I screwed up Peel or uh, Olaf Hurdy twice. Twice. <laughs> Bro. Oh, God, that was rough. It is now finally 7x7 seven seven time. Also, shout out to Brayden for letting me borrow his little tripod thing because I forgot to bring it. Let's get this over with. I mean, I hope I actually make cut off. Three cat pumps. <laughs> you don't need the cat. <laughs> Me and Admo judging the last event of the day, which is blind finals. So. I'm ready for dinner. Yes. My boy won blind. He is the world's blindest person. <laughs> <laughs> the day is over. How did you think of this day? It was a very chill day. Not a lot of people here, so it was nice and relaxed, good vibe. Yep. Just watching Avatar, just yeah. chilling. Yeah, watching Avatar, chilling. Ex not soup. Exploring the high school. <laughs> we explored the high school, <laughs> and we found some cool stuff like a leprechaun. Where here. am I? After the commercial break, we are now back at Airbnb. Woo! We have just ordered nourishment. Yes. And we are about to watch Ooh. Avatar. Which I, I think we are all very excited about. Ah, yes. We're recording the podcast. Yes, sir. Okay, here we go. I got it this time. Hello, and welcome back to the 35th episode of the Del Sony Podcast. I'm Adam from the Ruby's Cubed. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. There. Okay. Start recording. Okay. I love how there's a handle on the inside. Are you recording? Yes. What's up, guys? Philip Laser Monkey here. I'm announcing that my sub 35 Mega Mix challenge is now live. <laughs> <laughs> Day two, guys. I think we're all pretty tired. Sorry, they say no weapons, but my fingers are kind of a registered weapon in the Cuban community. So. <laughs> we are now on way to competition. On the way, on the way. Welcome back to Finley High School. Sharpen your axes. And don't forget to synergize. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, your synergies aren't in line, bro. You can't- Bro, your in. synergies are throwing me off right now. Like, you're- Not gonna lie though. We're just not really vibing right now, you feel? Currently warming up four by four. Not feeling that great about it, honestly. I'm still really tired and I can't turn that well, but we shall see what happens. So 404 was pretty much a disaster. There was one solve where like, I think I missed, I thought I did three cross edges and then when I was done with centers, I only had two. And then on the last solve, I did three cross edges, did centers, looked again, I only had one edge solved. I was like, why? This is very dumb. 
And uh, yeah, I just kept messing up. Like I had one solve where I did PLL parody twice because I didn't recognize a G perm. And I was like, this is just really bad. If you believe in yourself, that's a great place to start. <laughs> just do it. Do it. How was Three by Three, Steve? <laughs> tree by Tree was pretty good. Uh, like, well, pretty normal. Low 11. Low 11? Low 11. Yeah. I mean, if I got a low 11, I think I'd be happy with that, honestly. Like, I don't, th I don't think I can expect for much more than that. This is a very solid start so far. We've got 10.05, 10.03. See if we can keep it going. Dude, I haven't broken my 3x3 average PB in so long, dude. I'm so happy about that. Watch okay. the whole thing. I have like so much more energy now. Like just getting that <laughs> average like gave me energy. Neo, 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 Neo. So two by two wasn't bad, uh, mostly very average times and then kind of a dumb scramble at the end. Anyways, five by five is up next and I'm very excited for that. I really like five by five. Hopefully I do pretty well. So 5.5 five average, kind of inconsistent, but also I was proud of the uh, 114. I was pretty happy with that. That was a very smooth solve. It was also a sub one redux. At this point, I think I pretty much just have three by three round two and then I'm done. So I'm uh, pretty excited about that. It's been a lot of competing. Whew, that was quite an average right there. Like, that was crazy. The scrambles were pretty ridiculous. Everyone's kind of going crazy about the last one because it was, it was really, really good. So of course, Drew got a very good average. He got a 624 on his last solve. So I just checked WCA Live, and it turns out I actually tied my average from last round in the second round. So I got the exact same average. Never done that before. It's also a tied PR average. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool, and I'm hoping that I made finals. 
12 seconds later. I'm very sad. I did not make three right three finals. I was uh, 13th place. I was the last average before they became sub 10. So. <laughs> Daniel Derp do two by rubric. Can he solve quickly? Yes. What do you think, Steve? Just got done judging pure finals. It was very entertaining because literally no one was taking it seriously. <laughs> Even like Drew Brads was just goofing. <laughs> goofing? Yeah. I'd be goofing. How many podiums? Answer the question. <laughs> At most five. Just five. Let's count on my hands how many podiums I get. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> Who is Daniel? That one. Oh cool. That one. Very cool. Thank you, Adam. Very cool. And in first place, and the winner of Flag City Fall 2019 with an average of 752, Luke Garrett. Oh, yeah. Competition over. How did you like competition? Steve is leave. Other Steve is also leave. No. Other also not allowed. <laughs> Wait, that's illegal. How did you feel about competition? It was good. Uh, it was a very chill competition. Uh, mm -hmm. Good environment. I uh, very much enjoyed the company. Yes. Um, I would do it again without competing with the same company. Yes, yeah, absolutely. I would do the same. I think... Uh, this has been the most chill comp I've ever been to, and I really enjoyed it. That is pretty much it. I don't know if I'm gonna record anything else. This very well could be the last clip. All right, see you later, everybody.